In this video, we're going to look at finding the normal distribution of these z values on a TI-8384 calculator, and we'll use the uh, normal CDF function on the calculator. So here's, let's look at this example first. It says, determine the area under the standard normal curve that lies to the left of, let's do the first one, the area to the left of z equals 0.22. Get the calculator, turn it on, it's going to be second and then vars to get the distributions. And it's going to be the normal CDF function. Enter. Now the normal CD func CDF function has four inputs. The left bound, the right bound, the mean, and the standard deviation. So remember that when we put in a Z value, we're always looking at the area to the left. So we want to have the area to the left of Z equals 0.22. So if we want to go all the way to the left, our left bound must be negative infinity. We must go to the left all the way. So how we represent that in the calculator is negative 10 to the 99, because that's such a small, small number. It's basically representing negative infinity on the calculator. Comma. So our left bound is negative infinity. Our right bound is up to 0.22 for the z value. Comma. And then our mean, what's our mean? Well, they don't give us a mean, and they don't give us a standard deviation. They just say it's a standard normal curve. So when you have that, the mean is always 0, and the standard deviation is always 1 on the standard normal curve. So that's our input. That returns 0.587. And then the 6 rounds is 0 up to 1, and that's what it is. So this is the area to the left of 0.22 on a standard normal curve. You would do the same thing for the rest of these to the left. Let's look at an, uh, another example. Here, we're looking to the area probability of uh, x being greater than 35. So it says, assume the random variable x is normally distributed with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 7. Compute this probability. Well, here's a greater than. Okay. Well, we do the same thing. CDF our left bound. Okay, left bound is not going to be negative infinity this time. The left bound is 35 and we're going to go to positive infinity, everything to the right. So we we put in 35 comma positive infinity 10 to the 99 comma and then our mean is 50 and our standard deviation is 7 comma 7. So that's how you can find things to the right. You have your lower bound set, and then you go to the right to infinity, 0 0.9839, 0 0.9839. Now let's look at an in-between. Here's a word problem that asks an in-between question. The number of chocolate chips is approximately normally distributed with a mean of 1252 and a standard deviation of 129. The probability that a randomly selected bag contains between a thousand and fifteen hundred chocolate chips inclusive. Okay, same idea, second vars down to the CDF between one thousand, so left bound one thousand, right bound fifteen hundred, oops, fifteen hundred, comma, the mean twelve fifty two, comma, the standard deviation one hundred twenty nine and the parenthesis and hit enter 0 0.9473 so that's the probability that you contains between those two values so pretty basic and quick to find normal distribution on the calculator um, if you have any questions please post in discussion